Welcome back everyone, Brobent here. Today I'm going to be going over the best ways to kill the end boss in the forest. Also, subscribe and comment on this video for a chance to win a £25 Steam gift card. Check the description for more info. So I want to point out that all of this information was gathered on normal mode, the normal difficulty. Not hard mode, not hard survival, normal. As I figured the majority of players will be playing on this difficulty. Now this is your one and only spoiler warning, I will be containing content in this video from the end of the game. If you don't want to spoil the end game for you, click away right now. So jumping into the preparation of this fight, you want to make sure you have every single medication that you can get. So you want to stock up on 5 meds, the pills that is, you want to have 5 health mix and 5 health mix plus. Very important, she can deal a lot of damage this boss, so just make sure you're fully stocked up on those and you should be a-okay. Alongside that you also want to stock up on armor, so I would suggest having 10 creepy armor, 10 bone armor and as much lizard armor as you can carry. So once you enter the boss fight room and you jump into the fight with Megan here, things can get a bit complicated super quick. So I'm going to give you a few tips before we get into the methods of killing her, just so I can help you out a little bit here. So something that I do a lot when I start this fight is back up instantly. Just hold shift and hold W and walk pretty much all the way back to the door. Now, what's so significant about this area? Well, first of all, the door. <laughs> you can go through the door, believe it or not, when the boss fight is still going. You can just leave the room and come back in 20 minutes time and she'll still be there. Now this is super important because say if you get hit three times and your health is super low and you need to heal up, well you know how it takes a little bit of time? What you can do is just exit through the door, pop a med and heal up and then as soon as you're fully healed, re-enter the fight. It's a great tip, I would highly recommend you use it. However, this is kind of like abusing a game mechanic here, I'm not sure how you would see it but you know, if you struggle then, you can use that. So I'm going to cover the babies real quick because they are all around this boss fight. Now killing them doesn't really solve the problem because she can just spawn more. So what I suggest is just completely avoid them. Go to the opposite side of the room where they are and fight her there. You just want to be completely focused on Megan during this fight. If you've got babies to deal with too, it becomes a little bit more complicated. So just completely avoid them and take your mind off them focus on Megan. So now we've covered all of those tips and I guess a few tricks, we're going to be moving on to the methods of killing her. Now it's really important to know that during recording these clips I did use god mode, so the footage you see on screen during this list does not accurately represent the results you will see as I have got infinite health. So the first one straight away is not a suggested one but it's something you could do, is using the katana. Now in order to kill Megan with the katana, you have to hit her 40 times. Now that number sounds like a lot, but you can deal 3 swings, 4 swings in a second if you're like on track. However, I would not suggest using melee weapons at all because that means you have to get up close and that's where the damage hits. So I guess if you're completely out of everything else in this list, you could use the katana as a last reserve. Next item on this list is the club. Now this is the last melee weapon that I will be covering in this list. So if you upgrade the club with teeth, it can deal a lot of damage. I believe it is the hardest hitting melee weapon in the game actually. It only takes around 16 hits until Megan is dead with the upgraded club, which is pretty incredible. Again though, it is a melee weapon and you will have to get up close to kill her, so that's one reason that I wouldn't suggest it. If you're out of ranged weapons, this is a good substitute. So moving on to number four in this list, we have sticky bombs. Now sticky bombs, you don't have enough to kill her purely with sticky bombs. It will take five sticky bombs plus seven molotovs to kill her. So this can be a good way to knock off a load of damage instantly, but Hitting her with the sticky bombs, I personally find quite difficult. Now I personally don't suggest you doing this because you can miss pretty much all of them really easily, including the mollies. So I guess if you've got them in your inventory, just go ahead and knock them off instantly, just throw all five. However, for killing her, it's an okay method, you just gotta be damn accurate. So number three on this list is the flintlock pistol. Only number three you're asking? Yes, it's a very good method of killing her. This is actually one of the better ones, the flintlock pistol. It only takes 10 hits. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. Damn, I'm going to use that straight away. However, just think about this. I think it's very hard to hit her with the flintlock pistol, even when aiming down the sights. Now, it might only require 10 hits, but in return, you could also take a lot of damage purely because of how long it could take for you to actually get those hits in. This is a great way of taking out Megan, don't get me wrong. If you're looking for a guide on how to get the flintlock pistol, there's a guide at the top right of the screen right now. Go ahead and click that and it will take you to the video. So number two on this list is the modern bow and arrows. Not the crafted bow, the modern bow. I believe the crafted bow does take a few more hits. The modern bow with crafted arrows takes 20 hits. Only 20 arrows and you will kill the end boss. So with the arrows, you can miss 30 hits and still manage to kill her because it only takes 20 and you can carry 50. So that's why this is number two. It's a great way to kill her. It can take a little bit longer though. So that was number two, the modern bow and arrows. It's a great way to kill her. So here we are, my number one recommended method to kill Megan. The upgraded rock. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, okay? It's the spear. Spears, in my testing, have been the best way to kill her. Honestly, I was so surprised at how much damage these spears do. Now, I'm not talking about jabs, I am talking about throwing. Throwing is what I'm talking about here. So, as you can see on screen right now, it only takes 10 spear throws to kill her. Which I think is ridiculous, because you can hold five or six in your inventory now with the spear bag. So you can just throw them one after the other, and it would only take you a couple of attempts. Now one great thing about the spears method is that you can just go ahead and pick your spears back up. Now unlike the arrows, they don't get stuck in Megan, they just drop to the floor. So you can just pick them up, no matter what. And the fact that it only takes ten spear throws is crazy. Alright everyone, so that has been my guide on how to kill the end boss or Megan in the forest. If you follow this guide using the last three methods of flintlock, modern bow and spears, with, along with all the, uh, the medication and the armor, you will have a super easy time killing her. Again though, this was for normal mode, not hard survival or hard, normal mode. So do take into account that if you're playing in hard or hard survival, I believe uh, it's all amplified, our health has been increased slightly. So there you go everyone, if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and like this video to help others find this in the future. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next video.